Hi, welcome back. Thank you for joining me here once again at Flor Arts by Elsa. Tonight I am going to try and hear me when I say try to make two extension pieces to a commission piece that I had a couple of months ago. So I don't have the painting with me. I only have the measurements and kind of how the design, um, what kind of design was on the canvas. So I'm going to try to match two side panels. They're 12 by 24 inches. I am going to show you the picture right here. This is the painting that I am trying to extend with two and extensions, 12 by 24 inches. It is a flick cup um, with beautiful blues. Um, and we'll see this one is a bit challenging, but we'll see how it turns out. So meet me down at the canvas. Okay, everyone, so here we are, and we, as you can see, are very far out from what we normally, um, from what, how normally close we are. So I have the two canvases prepped. My sides are already covered, and I'm trying to help myself in kind of like knowing where I have to place this flip cup. Um, so what I did, uh, I don't even want to move it, but I'll show you. So I painted the sides, but the part where the flip cup design has to be, I kind of left it blank like this to help me guide myself because I'm pretty sure that the lines on my table are going to disappear as soon as I flood the canvases. So I'm hoping for that to help me. And on this side, I have the same. I have the spots where the design is going to go. Hopefully it helps me. The first thing I want to quickly show you are the colors that I'm going to be using. And there are a lot of colors, so I'm going to just get them out of the way and show you. Anything that, um, if you missed it, you can always check the description box underneath. Um, it'll have everything that I have used. So I am going to be starting with Payne's Gray by Creative Inspirations. I also have Titanium White by Windsor & Newton. Then I have Cobalt Blue by Windsor & Newton. I have Iridescent Silver by Peveo. I have Pearl Ocean Blue by Arteza. Also Primary Cayenne by Amsterdam. Next I have Iridescent Blue Black by Peveo. I have Windsor Blue by Windsor & Newton. Oxide Black by Amsterdam, Pearl Sky Blue by Arteza, and Cerulean Blue by Windsor & Newton. And I have these little cups that I'm going to layer those paints in. Um, I'm going to just use three because the part right here, one, two down here, and the third one here. So those are, that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. And I can quickly show you one of the cups, um, how I'm going to go ahead and layer it. Let me grab it. I'm sorry, that's the nap, the tissue here, napkin. So, so we're going to be starting with Payne's Gray. Okay. So Payne's Gray. Then I have Titanium White. Okay. Cobalt blue. Okay. Iridescent silver. Okay. Pearl ocean blue. Primary Siam, Iridescent Black Blue by Peveo, Windsor Blue, Let's see, okay, Iridescent Black, oh, I mean Oxide Black.
Pearl Sky Blue. And Cerulean Blue. Okay, so that's my cup. It's filled out to the brim, okay? I'm not going to show you all of them on camera. I'm going to get those cups ready. I'll be right back. Okay, so here we are, and we are ready to go. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to flood our canvas, and I am using Turquoise Blue by Amsterdam. I already have it here. It may have a lot of bubbles because I just finished mixing this one. Um, so let's go. Okay, so we're back. Um, I finished kind of like um, flooding the canvas. It did take a lot of work. I do have a couple of just um, dust particles that I want to take out of here before I continue. Okay, and now I'm going to go ahead and torch it out once again because there's a lot of bubbles here. A lot of bubbles. My cups are full to the brim. I don't even know how I'm going to flip these. But I'm going to flip one right here. There. Oof, that was an easy one. I'm going to flip the next one. Oh, no, 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 no. What did I do? My next cup has to go right here. Okay. Um, how am I going to correct? Okay, so let's see. I think when I start tilting it, it will fall off the canvas. So hopefully it does. Um, I'm just going to get rid of these here. Okay. So this has to be about that big. This one is here. This one is not even supposed to be here. Um... What am I going to do? I got to get this off. All right. So hopefully that helps. So I have that one that's going to go down this way. I have this one here and I need one, I believe is right here. Okay, let's see. They're just so full right there. Okay. All right, so there are the cups. I'm going to, so this is this side. So I'm going to bring this down this way, just like that. Beautiful. Okay. I'm bringing this one down this way here. Gorgeous. Look how beautiful that is. I don't know if you can see it. It's so dark, but it's gorgeous. I'm going to save that there. And this one is going to go this way. Right here. Okay, so hope that works. Um, 
and I'm going to go ahead and tilt it. So I'm going to start with this one right here. And I'm supposed to be getting there. So I'm going to, I'm just going to bring it over that way first. Kind of that way and over this way. It's gorgeous. I'm happy with the way it looks. So let's go this way. I'm just bringing it down. I'm sorry, guys, you can't see it, but I don't want to lose the track of where I'm supposed to be going here. And if I turn it, let's see. I'm doing it away from you. I'm so sorry here. Right off. Okay, perfect. Now I'm going to bring it back. Perfect. So I believe my mission is accomplished with that one. Okay, perfect. Yes. Now I'm going to move to the second canvas. So this one's going to be a little tricky. So I'm thinking it's right here and this way. Okay. So I'm thinking same thing. I'm going to go this way first. Up that way. Just like that. And then I'm going to, let me see. Yes. Now I'm going to come down. And over again, again, guys. I'm sorry. Um, it's it's at a very bad angle because I got to make sure these corners match with the painting. Um, so it's making it a little difficult for me to like move it over so you can see. And of that, let's see. That is perfect. I am so happy. Let me go. I'm going to go, not from the corner, but up that way. Okay. So these two pieces are gorgeous. And I think I stay within, let's see, there, there. And there. Yep, I think I stayed within, maybe not over here. It's okay, I think. I think it's okay. All right, guys. So let me go ahead, clean up these edges. I'm, I'm going to bring you in for a close-up. This is an awesome one. We'll be right back. Okay, everyone. So look at the two uh, side panels. They... I mean, I have so much paint on my table. I've never had so much um, extra paint. Just I'll pick it up, I'll clean it up, and I'll put it in a cup, and I can use it as a base for another painting. But take a look at this. Look how gorgeous. I'm sorry about that glare. Look at all that webbing. Beautiful webbing, beautiful cells. Look at those cells encircling cells of different colors absolutely gorgeous look how it branches out look how rich and dark is that 
beautiful. Love it. What do you guys think? And I kind of went in here and scraped it a little bit just to make sure that I had the corner with the dimension that I needed. And I did the same thing on this side. Take a look at that. Beautiful. Look at those cells there. Gorgeous. I'll have the second one here. Look how beautiful. And that is that silver by Peveo. Gorgeous piece. Love the black, how it showed up here. It's like this, the rich blues. Um, the creative inspirations paints gray. Gorgeous. Tell me what you guys think. I wish I had a better, um, there, that's a little better there, so you can see it. Well, tell me what you guys think. Leave a comment in the comment section below, guys. Thank you for joining me at Fluid Arts by Elsa, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully this one dries. I don't know when you're going to be able to see this one, um, but Hopefully it dries and my client can put them together so you can see um, how it turned out. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Have a good evening. Bye.